All right, guys, check out this little soft cut saw we just picked up. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's a gorilla, I think. I think they called it. So just a couple little features. My first impressions. Number one, carrying handle. Number two, the mounting system for this saw seems way more robust than the system that the Harshkarna uses. I like it. Now obviously I'll let you know once we use it a little bit, but so far it looks way better. The plunge mechanism is right here. So it just comes down and locks right in place. And then you just boom and drop it. And it drops that much of the saw. The blade never really moves. Or the blade does move, but not the uh, foot, rather. And it has the regular round arbor for the blade. Not that goofy oblong looking thing, cam lobe looking thing for the, like on the Harskarnas. And this, you can adjust the depth. This saw takes up to an eight inch blade. And the way that you adjust this depth is, I mean, it's just, it's all simple, basic, and stuff that doesn't go wrong. Brandon, will you lift up on that right there? Yep. You just, and you move this around here, just gonna lift up on it, move it, and that's different depths. Go ahead. So, first impression. I really like this thing and I'll let you know after we use it a couple of times. All right, let's go put it into action. All right, so we're out here. I'm about to use this bad boy. Cut a slab we did up there. Got this guard off. I like that the guard here, when it's on, you can see the blade. You can see where you're dropping your blade. You can see where the harsh varnish, you can't really, it's hard to tell. So I like that so far about that. Uh, I like that it has just the round arbor. I like that better. And it just seems, seems well put together. So we'll use it, give it a shot, and we'll let you know. We got this bad boy fired up. We're gonna give her a shot here and we're gonna take you along for the ride. We got her all lined up. One thing I really like about it is I'm not sure if you can see but that little gauge over there, or that hole, allows you to see where your blade's dropping. Unlike the harsh barnasols, you really don't know where it's dropping. Kind of a guess. That comes in really handy when you're cutting like around floor drains or up to an edge or something of that nature. This does have the Honda 200 motor on it. It's a pretty good motor. Seems to have enough power, cuts real smooth. We got a good wind blowing here, so I'm not getting much of this dust. Although you can see that it is chucking it out pretty good out that hole. So if you wanted to hook a back up to this, you'd be you'd be money. As I'm cutting, you do have to apply a little bit of twisting pressure to keep it on the line. I'm noticing I gotta push a little harder with my right hand than I do my left hand to keep it on line. But it's not nearly as bad as some of the saws I've used. And that could actually be a blade thing also. So. And then I may be pushing the blade a little too fast. Either way, the saw seems to be performing nicely.
him back in. Money. You can roll away. Pretty straight. I like it. Gorilla. Gorilla Concrete Tool. So far, so good.